Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the day the Lord have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Monday, October the 25th. Welcome to True Vision Church, 12 o'clock noon. 
prayer time. We get together. We pray unto the Lord. I'm Elder Corey Mobley. I'm standing in this month for the remainder of this month for our pastor, Pastor Michael Steve Brown, who's returning back to the office and back to the pulpit from bereavement leave. Thank you for praying for him and him and his family. Thank you for um, your support during this season of our loss of our grand pastor, True Vision Church's grand pastor, Pastor Aristide Brown. Ah, we appreciate you all. We really do. Do me a favor right now. Like this video. Share this video with your family and your friends. and Comment during this prayer time together that we are sharing together. Subscribe to our YouTube. And if you haven't already, follow us on Facebook. How are you doing? How are you doing out there? I'm, I'm essentially asking what is your I am statement? It's the same way we do it on Sunday morning. We bring it to our prayer time together. Type it in right now. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. I'm, 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 I'm glad to be here. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. What is your I am statement? Talk to us. Tell us how you're doing today. Put it out there. But then not only that, we still got to boast on our God. Name one thing that God did for you today. That's right. Name it. Name it. Put it out there. Boast on him. Tell the, the world what our God has done for you today. But you and I are here for devotional time and for prayer time. So we're going to read from our devotional book, God's Purpose for Your Life. We'll be reading a scripture that is today's scripture for Leave Him Room at Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Then I'll recite the Lord's Prayer and ask you to repeat the words after me or along with me. And then we will pray for our prayer topic from our seven-day corona prayer guide, which is praying for our sick and our vulnerable today. Y'all, we got to lift them up. We got to keep them on our lips. Y'all, this prayer time together that we have been sharing together, it's been, uh, it's been changing things, I, I assure you. It is changing the scene on this coronavirus war that we're in. But let's read scripture together. It's coming from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 19. And there you'll find these words. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Somebody type amen for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody type amen for me in the chat box right now as we celebrate the word of God. Let's repeat the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen amen and amen let's pray together heavenly father most gracious master the one we call our god the great jehovah the great i am <sighs> Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord God, we bless you and we lift you up today. We do. We start off our week by celebrating who you are, by giving you the praise, honor, and glory that is owed unto you. Dear Master, here we are in this place to lift up the sick and the vulnerable. The vulnerable being the infants and the vulnerable being the, 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 the elderly, the, the senior saints. God, They've given so much of their life towards us. And so here in their latter years, we ask you to make them the best years. Make them the years that they look back on what the Lord has done over and over again for them. Thank you, Master. But Lord, as we lift up the sick to you, bless them. Bless those around them. Keep them strong. Heal their bodies if it's your will. Have them walk out the hospital rooms and the sick beds celebrating who God is and give another testimony of what he can do.
But Lord, we don't discredit if you choose another route. If you broke them on home to glory, we know that it's all for God's purpose, all for your glory, all for your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So thank you, dear master, for the avenue of prayer. We do lift them up to you. We say hallelujah to your name. We say thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Come on, church. Give God praise out there as we end this prayer time together. Join me again on tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon to see what the Lord has to say to us through devotion and at prayer time. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Come on, everybody. Get your feet happy. Let's go. Come on.